I got my official invitation to be the battle medic for the Area 51 raid. Here's what I'm thinking. For those who don't know what Area 51 is, this is a top secret United States Air Force base that's found in Nevada. It gained popularity in the 40s, 50s, and 60s, mainly due to UFO and governmental conspiracy theories. While some of these were really interesting to read about, none of them have ever proven to be true. I am just a figment of your imagination. We've all heard about the Roswell, New Mexico UFO landing, but the evidence just isn't quite there. Yeah. Well. And now Area 51 is gaining even more attention courtesy of this Facebook group where people want to storm Area 51. All right. Let's go. Please do not raid Area 51. It's a top secret government facility. You'll get fined, you'll get hurt, you'll get arrested. You don't need that in your life. Trust me, whatever's going on there is probably not that exciting. And I know the majority of you joined the Facebook group just for the awesome memes. I actually checked them out myself. They were pretty funny. On that note, I did let my imagination run wild for a little bit. And I thought if I participated in this Area 51 raid, what could be some of the coolest medical tech that they would have there? This list is completely based on my imagination. I feel like I have to make this clear to some people. Number one, there's a machine in Area 51 that gives you the perfect genetic testing. It doesn't need to do a full swab or a lot of blood to be given, just a little finger prick. You take that little sample, it runs its magic inside the computer, and all of a sudden you get this app that not only tells you what to eat, but in what quantity to eat, what foods to avoid, what exercise to do, for how long to do it, your life expectancy. There's so much information that's hidden within our genetics that this machine can just tell us everything we wanna know about ourselves. Should I eat these peanuts? You're gonna love my nuts. Or is this gonna be harmful to my health today? And all you have to do is scan them and boom. The genetic test is complete. You may think to yourself, well, there's genetic tests out there. The genetic tests we have that are available now are maybe for single genes, for very specific diseases. And even then it gives us very limited information as to what we can do about it. For example, if we know that we have a 60% chance of developing Alzheimer's based on our genetic makeup, what do we do with that information? We need more. This leads us into the perfect number two, where we have a machine that is a 3D printer for foods. And not just regular foods, foods that you can customize based on your genetic testing that the other machine just gave you. So if you wanna print out a piece of broccoli with specific micro and macronutrients. You can do it! A juicy, juicy steak without hurting an animal. You can do it! Turning down the amount of carcinogens so you're not causing cancer to yourself. You can do it! Curing world hunger. Eating unhealthy foods but making them healthy. Sounds like a win to me. Number three. This one, I really hope, 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 hope is in Area 51, and that is the BS meter. You heard me right, the BS meter. Cause there's so much BS on late night infomercials, on the internet, on social media, misinformation about vaccines, weight loss, cleanses, detoxes, it kind of just makes me wanna squirm. <laughs> Number four, a magical injectable polymer-like compound that you can inject directly into your blood vessel that will automatically seal off any bleeding with inside the body. You know, we have the fix a flat thing where you put it into a tire, you squeeze it, air goes in in the foam, and it automatically seals the tire from leaking. That's how this bad boy works. If you get a gunshot wound and it's tearing a piece of your artery, automatically if you inject that, it'll seal the leak. Five. This one's all about AI and mental health. The world is dealing with anxiety, depression, social pressures, addiction. What works for almost all of the above? Cognitive behavioral therapy. Well, in Area 51, they have a Tamagotchi. Well, if it isn't Tamagotchi. Inside of it has an AI of the world's best CBT. You talk to the Tamagotchi as if it's a therapist. A lot of people struggle talking to another human about their problems, but they can talk to their Tamagotchi and their Tamagotchi is gonna give them perfect advice. Well, it's okay to be sad sometimes. You just don't wanna go into a depression over it because it's these sad moments and challenges that really define us and make us who we are. Wouldn't you agree? That thing's pretty awesome, right? Also, Dr. Mike, try and suck less. That's the beta version. Bonus number six. They're also gonna have a cure for the common cold. Yeah, that little common cold virus that no one seems to have a cure for, they have a laser for it. Cool. 
I want to hear your theory of what you think could be an Area 51 from the medical side of things. Drop it down below in the comments because I'm going to be in there, I'm going to be responding, I'm going to be reading, and I want to see if you're more creative than I. And if you want to watch another fun video, which I super recommend you should, click here for my Apex Gaming video, which you obviously missed because of the YouTube algorithm. But as always, stay happy and healthy.